Zabbix 7.4 introduces the brand new host wizard. With this host wizard, the creation of hosts is easier than ever. The host wizard lets you choose a template that you want to use for monitoring and guides you through the configuration of both the template and, for example, the agent, if the template utilizes the agent. Let's look at the host wizard in the Zabbix frontend and create a simple Linux server host that we'll be monitoring with the official Linux server template. So now we are in the data collection host section of Zabbix and we can see a brand new button host wizard over here. So let's click on it and try to create our Linux server host. So this is the welcome screen. Let's continue, click next and let's select our template. Here we will be using agent based Linux template. Let's scroll down. Let's try and find it. So it's under section OS, Linux by Zabbix agent over here. Let's select it. If we click show more, we can see a brief description of the template and its various notes regarding different items, discovery rules, formulas used in triggers, etc. So we've selected our template. Let's click next. And now let's provide our host name and host group. So Linux server will be the name of my host and I will link it to Linux servers host group. Like this. Let's click next. And over here we have the option to configure encryption and let's configure our pre-shared key identity and pre-shared key is already generated over here. If we want, we can generate a new one, but I'm going to call this a Linux, Linux demo like this. This will be my pre-shared key identity. And over here we can have to select our operating system. So it's Linux, it's a Linux template. So we'll select Linux. We can also select Windows and then have the instructions for installing the agent on Windows or other operating systems over here, but we will stick with Linux. And now we have the command over here that we will use in our command line to install the agent. So let's switch to the command line view and let's install our agent with this here command and see if we succeed. Okay, so I've moved to my Linux server command line and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this command over here that should install Zabbix agent and actually configure the encryption on it. So let's execute it and let's see what happens. So it installs the Zabbix release package, the Zabbix repository, and then downloads the Zabbix agent from it. Let's wait for the download and setup to finish and hopefully everything is fine and we can then switch back to the host wizard. Okay, so we can see that the Zabbix agent, Zabbix agent 2, has been installed and it's been started. So let's switch over to the host wizard and finish up with the setup of our new host. All right, we're back in the host wizard, so let's click next. And we can provide the host interface. The agent is actually running on the local host machine, so I will leave the local host IP address in and we'll use the default port. And finally, over here in the overview, we have some final notes over here the required agent version, notes on some uh, settings unique to this template. And in the next page, we will be able to configure different macros over here for our trigger thresholds, for our discovery, and any other items and triggers that utilize macros that might need some configuration. Uh, I will leave everything at defaults, so this works perfectly fine for me. I will fine tune them down the line, but this is a great chance for you to just sort of have a final overview of what the template does, what kind of macros it has on it, and fine tune things in this screen before you get started. So I will click next. Now we'll finish. I will click create, and I should see my host be deployed over here. So I'm automatically redirected to the latest data on the host. So it was just deployed. It might take us a couple of seconds until the data is collected. So let's give it a, a couple of seconds. Let's give it a chance to collect all the information, then refresh the page and let's see if everything is in order. Okay, so I've given it a couple of seconds and here after refreshing, I can see that the data is already coming in. I'm getting file system metrics, I'm getting CPU metric, I'm getting available memory metrics and much, much more, all of it coming from this here template. Things are being discovered uh, by the low-level discovery, items are being created. And if I go to data collection hosts over here, I see my Linux server 
created with pre-shared key encryption in place. And if I open it up, I can see, yes, the name, the host group is correct. And the encryption settings over here have been populated from the host wizard.